welcome back to Koh Samui and some incredible properties here. Because I'm in the market, I'm considering staying on Koh Samui for a little bit longer. And so I've just been shopping around and as good as Airbnb and other booking sites can be, they are a little bit overpriced and slightly unreliable in my experience. So today I've partnered with Beyond Properties to look at three different luxury homes which don't actually have luxury budgets. Because the first one, as incredible as it is, is under a thousand US dollars per month. The second one we'll look at is under 2,000 US dollars per month. And the last one, this one here, well, it's a little bit special and it's a little bit higher price, but I just wanted to show you to see what you can get for. If you've got a little bit more money lying around, so strap in and enjoy this beautiful property video here on Koh Samui and uh, be prepared to be blown away by not only what you can get for your money, but just how beautiful these properties are. So let's go. Okay, we are at the first property and as you can see little dreamy's parked out here and with a guy called johnny he's from beyond properties i found them on facebook obviously if you need more information on any of these properties in the videos plus dozens and dozens of more then check out their facebook group nice little area we're in ban rack which is not far from where i'm staying in lana on the north shores of Koh Samui. Fantastic area. You've got Central Festival Shopping Mall five minutes away, many beaches, incredible restaurants. Fisherman Village is two minutes from here. And uh, yes, yeah, so it's a prime location. Let's come in. You've got this really nice big door when you come in. And uh, you even get a little torch in case there's a power cut, which can happen from time to time. But um, then you come into the kitchen, you've got a nice uh, fully equipped kitchen with all the things that you need. You've got your stove, hot pans, microwave, kettle and all the usual stuff. Thai style, you know, it's not super massive or luxurious fridge, but that's okay. And then lots of storage space and a breakfast bar with stools, which is actually quite nice. And then you come straight into the huge living room area. Now, how is this for a living room area? Not only do you have an incredible <laughs> double sofa with breakfast table and a huge big plasma screen TV but you have these huge walls that go up and there's a massive fan blowing air across here keeping it nice and cool and fresh two aircon units in here and of course the swimming pool <laughs> so this is quite unique to have an indoor swimming pool obviously you come down here you've got a little bit of a step so that's kind of that kids area and then you can go up there and actually at the far end of the pool there's a little seat and I think you could sit there get suntan and uh, there was also seems to be a material that I think you could pull down just to sort of you know if you were getting too hot and uh, getting blasted by the sun so that's interesting an indoor swimming pool in the house itself and um, remember this house is under 1000 US dollars well under 1000 US dollars per month it has its own indoor swimming pool. Then you have this interesting area here. This is like the dining table and um, the extension of the living room, basically where you would come and have your breakfast and dinner, whatever. And um, it has artificial grass. So what I know they're trying to do here is create like an outdoor theme indoors with the artificial grass, the swimming pool indoors. And then you come out here and you've got these big wooden doors and then you've got the outside area. What's good is it has netting so that stops all the birds coming in um, and bugs and mosquitoes. So you could actually quite easily have these windows open and doors wide open and not have to worry about all the mozzies getting in, which is really, really good. And then actually it gives it, actually once you're out here, it feels like it's an outdoor pool now because this section is exposed to the sun, exposed outside. And then it is an outdoor pool if you think about it, because this way goes straight to the stairs. <laughs> That's really cool and super unique. What do you think? Thumbs up for the indoor pool or not? And then what else do we have? So at the other end of the living space is a downstairs shower, downstairs toilet room, which is handy. You know, if you've got kids down here or you're just too lazy to go upstairs, you've got a downstairs bathroom. And then you've got um, a nice, modern, interesting design staircase. Let's go upstairs and have a look at the two bedrooms. And as we come in, huge queen size bed. That might actually be bigger than a queen size bed. 
Again, aircon, nice lighting, very new and modern fixtures, TV, lots of storage space. This is cool. We've got like a, kind of like a, a little chill out area here. Just lie on this, read a book. Bathroom, yes. So you have toilet, sink, nice big shower head, nice and clean and modern bathroom. And you actually have a cupboard or sort of like an open plan wardrobe. Again, more storage and a safe. And then we come along the long corridor and we can see here's the fan and downstairs into the um, living area that we saw a second ago. And again, nice and bright bedroom. Big bed. Now, actually, let's test the bed quickly. Oh, okay, good. That's a little bit firmer um, than I expected, but it's not super hard. You get a good night's sleep on that, don't you worry. Again, another long sort of loungy pillow on this um, bench. And we're overlooking Replay Residence. Replay Residence is a condominium right next door and you can get those for right now, one bedrooms for around 7,000 baht, um, which is incredibly cheap. So if you'd like me to go visit even cheaper locations, because this video we're looking at under 1,000, under 2,000 and under $5,000 a month. Um, so we're looking at the, the lower to higher end, but um, if you want to see the budget stuff, give the video a like. If we get a thousand likes, I'll do cheaper accommodation video on Samui. So you don't get a view of the sea. You don't get um, an incredible view. You just get to look at replay every morning. Um, but you know, it's an interesting unit. It's under a thousand US dollars per month with an indoor swimming pool, huge open plan living space, good modern bathrooms, great facility in the kitchen area, great location, and really fantastically cheap. So not bad. This is just one example of the stuff you can find on Beyond Properties and on Facebook. So should we go to the next one? The next one is going to be just under $2,000 per month. And so we're expecting it to be much nicer, but this was already really nice. Behind this door here is the second property and I just went in to you know, make sure the lights and aircon is on. And this is incredible. When you think about what I'm about to show you is under 2,000 US dollars per month. Not per night, per month. You will just be blown away. I am blown away, completely blown away. So obviously slidey doors, very cool. And when you come in, you're greeted by this really nice area there's nothing more annoying in thailand you know you have to take your shoes off every time um especially when you're a guest in other people's house i can't close this door <laughs> there we go and you know put your umbrella if it's been raining like having this little area here especially with the cool little map on the wall that's so nice to be able to just have a little area that can get dirty and that you can you know remove your shoes and get on some slippers and then right next door is this really cool bathroom i don't know how to get the light on in here but they're all touch screen uh, lights in the entire house. So again, you get home, desperate for a tinkle, you don't have to run upstairs, right there, relief, right there. <laughs> and then you come through into a beautiful kitchen area with a massive breakfast table. Have a look at this, you've got the stools. There's Johnny, he's very shy. <laughs> yeah, look, you know, nice breakfast stools. You can sit up here and have your cold cereal in the mornings and uh, really nice, lots of storage and drawers. You've got a proper oven, microwave, huge uh, space to cook up lots of stuff, lots of storage, a proper fridge, you know, a bo what is this? Is this Bosch? Yeah, look, Bosch, proper one. Nice big, and then a nice freezer too. And then like the sink is just professional, much nicer, proper granite and, you know, fancy faucet. Loads of storage. This is a really nice L-shaped kitchen. And then you come around the back and under the stairs is the laundry and dry room and, you know, extra linens and things. So you can hide away all your laundry stuff over here. Just a really nice, big, well thought out kitchen. And then you come to the dining table, which is, you know, quite simple and nice. I like what they've done with the flowers and the candles. Good place if you want to entertain a little bit. And have a look at the living room. Huge, huge, huge glass walls, 
huge high roofs with a giant fan similar to the one we saw in the thousand dollar apartment. Two really long comfortable sofas and then a, another little sofa there and then you can just sit here and look out. More stalls and flowers and then outside you can see there is some grass with uh, looks like a water feature but it's not switched on. Nice big bean bag, beautiful view of the sea. We're in business now, here's the pool. It looks quite deep actually. And you can do some lengths and there's a little kiddie area down there. So the swimming pool is 100% outdoor. Oh wow, really nice. They've got a huge TV which you can move and slide around. And that's just downstairs. So downstairs we have that really nice welcoming area big kitchen with breakfast bar, nice dining area, huge humongous living space with the great TV, nice artwork as well. They've got like four or five nice pieces of art to add a little pop of color. Let's go up the wooden staircase to the next surprise. So on level one, a gym, <laughs> a fully equipped gym. We've got a boxing heavy bag, We've got uh, you know, yoga mats and free weights, a running machine, a proper big Bluetooth speaker to blast your tunes. They've even got a workout regime on the wall. You've got an exercise bike and uh, some sort of bench press machine. And then over here, you have like games area. You've got like, what is this? Some sort of air hockey thing, what do you call that? I don't know what it's called now. Um, and just like a little games area, ping pong and snooker cues. I think that, oh, okay, does this? I think on this side it's air, air hockey and then underneath, yeah, underneath you flip that and it will turn into a pool table. So you've got a games room and a gym on level one and I think there's a, what is in here? In here is a bedroom, okay. So this is one of the bedrooms. It doesn't have a window um, but it's nicely done. The bed looks really comfortable. Aircon, makeup table, TV on the wall. And a nice bathroom, you've got the toilet here, the sink in the middle, and a really nice, yeah, level one bathroom and bedroom. So as we get to the top of level two, you can actually see your neighbors. Now, these look like almost identical units to the one we're in, so they're building more. So don't worry if you're watching this in 2021, or 2022, or 2023. Contact Beyond Properties, I'm sure they'll be able to find you something and let them, know your, let them know your budget. Anyway, first surprise of level two is a cinema. Here you've got some nice, you know, soft, huge bean bags. You could easily fit six or seven people on there. And then there's a projector on the wall and there's no screen because the wall itself is completely white. And so you would just project your movie for the night and obviously aircon and little table and a bin. And you know, they've got Pulp Fiction posters on the wall and stuff. So really awesome cinema room next to the cinema room is this long corridor and here there are three bedrooms let's just have a quick look at them again just look at the nice artwork everywhere in the house which is really nice again artwork in this bedroom with the tie long tail in the beach in keeping with where we are on coast samui again really nice bedroom i love the mirror i love what they've done with the driftwood and again makeup table really nice bright clean modern bathroom we come into the second bedroom past some more artwork this one has okay so this bedroom has its own balcony and view of the sea tv on the wall again nice beautiful bed makeup table again in here another really nice modern and clean bathroom again some nice artwork and of course a little sort of hangout area and a balcony and so you do get a view of Copangan and the beach and the sea. The master bedroom has a big wooden door. Oh, it's a push one, Paddy. And first you'll see the huge cupboard walk-in wardrobe kind of thing. Lots and lots of space, a nice um, makeup table there. The bathroom in here is about double the size. You've got the throne in its own area, the shower in its own area, a proper nice sink with mirror on both sides here and behind me here so like a his and hers just massive huge bedroom the bed itself seems to be a double and a single squished together so it's like a triple size bed absolutely outrageously massive again really nice artwork on the wall behind the bed huge tv lots of space and then look 
an outside bathtub and again a bean bag and again some nice artwork and how about that for a view what we can see is obviously our neighbors you can hear a little bit of construction going on in the distance and then we see Banrak Beach over there we see Put Beach we can see Moonstone in the distance and then that island across there is Koh Phang Yang so imagine the sunrises and sunsets from lying in your bed snuggled up watching some movies with the sun and the beautiful sunrises in the east and sunsets in the west and um, so we're kind of facing north so I think you would enjoy a little bit of both level three up the wooden stairs I love these wooden stairs I love the color again a nice driftwood mirror and look at this a massive garden terrace so first things first, you've got a gas powered outside grill, barbecue, great for entertaining, great for cooking shrimps and meats and whatever you want, grilled vegetables. And you can, you know, look at this space. You could easily have 15 to 20 people up here and, oh, I have to go all the way downstairs for a cold beer. No, no, no. There's a fridge right there. Store your wines, your Chardonnays, your bottles of Leo, whatever you want, your bottles of water. Again, lots of bean bags lounging around what's over here yeah just a sink to clean up you know especially if you want to have food and entertain this is really nice I like the way they framed this to look like a you know a window but there is no glass and you can spy on your neighbors and look up into the hill oh I, I know that wooden cabin there's a wooden cabin up there that's the walk uh, anyway rambling I went there in another video <laughs> and uh, and then let's go out into the uh, terrace so it's artificial grass as you can see and um, there's this is where you don't really have much privacy because your neighbors are literally you know right next to you they can see you they can hear you there isn't any fence or any privacy here um, and you could easily look <laughs> this is the neighbor right look I could just go hello and now I'm in my neighbor's house but that's rude I'm gonna go back into where I am um, and then of course again the same view if not better in fact much better from up here I can see Big Buddha I can see all of the north all the way across to even Mainam I can see Mainam in the distance what a view what a property and this is 60,000 Thai baht which is less than 2,000 US dollars per month now imagine you're a family and um, you've got a bunch of kids or just imagine you're a, <laughs> you're a couple and you just want loads of space and you want somewhere to work out somewhere to chill and you don't even want to use the spare rooms i think two thousand dollars a month is reasonable for all of this can you believe it okay the third and final property of today and we come through these amazing doors and what we're actually looking at here is two properties that are split so this way is your neighbors and this way is the property that we're looking at today this one is currently going for 180,000 baht per month it is a four bedroom four bathroom monster mansion I didn't even think mansion or villa is the right word. It's more of a complex, as you'll see. And you've got to get your walking shoes on today because we are going to be doing a lot. These aren't neighbors' homes. These are rooms in the property, as you'll see as we walk around. He has mentioned, the owner has told me that um, the price will be going up soon. They are almost finished full renovation. They're about two or three days away from finishing. So if you see some ladders and some um, walls waiting to be painted or whatever, it's almost finished and then when he gets a lot of the photos that he wants done, the professional real estate photos, he's thinking about raising the price a little bit just because the market is starting to go back up towards the higher price range. And if you cast your mind back to when we went to Moonstone, we stayed at Moonstone for a few nights and that is currently going for around 100,000 Thai baht per night. So extremely luxury price range. This as expensive as, you know, 200,000 180,000 baht sounds per month compared to Moonstone that's a fantastic value so I think we're just going to walk around in one shot and I'll show you around as we do so so as you come through obviously you've got luscious gardens and nice pavements and all the rest of it and then you see the sign here for movie room and we come in and guess what is in here obviously a movie room 
And obviously the first thing that you feel the second you walk in here is the amazing thick carpets. They are in the bathrooms and bedrooms too. Just helps you feel a little bit more luxury, like being back home in the West with carpets, because believe it or not, having a carpet is very rare in Thailand. Anyway, the movie room, really nice. You've got two layers, uh, lots of cushions, usual stuff, projector and a fan and some movie artwork. And there is a bathroom here to the side. So if you need a tinkle during the movie, watching Lord of the Rings marathon, you don't have to run up to your room. So there's a movie room right there next to the entrance and then you walk around the garden here and that beautiful doorway, that kind of is a shortcut to your neighbor's house. So if you're friendly with your neighbors, you can keep that unlocked and go between homes, pop across for a cup of tea or let the kids come and play in the pool. Because as you'll see, this pool here in this property has something completely unique. They believe it to be the only luxury villa in Samui with its own slide. So if you saw at the intro, there was a slide in the background. I'll show you that in a second. Down the stairs here, as you can see, there's a guy working there, just um, finishing off the bits and bobs that need to be done. I mean, obviously take a look at all of the plants, the trees, the beautiful flowers and the lights that are all solar paneled here. This house is solar paneled as well, which is really cool. So anyway, this is like the, the downstairs spa area. You've got an outdoor hot tub, um, jacuzzi bathtub, I should say and um, then you come through in here and the mindset for designing this area down here was with covid and everything they wanted this place to be self-sufficient so they just decided to build their own spa so what we're looking at down here is a relaxing quiet zone kind of like a zen reading area with a wine cooler drink cooler it has its own one person sitting sauna and you know just a little massage table area there's places to get massages there's places to get rest relax and just have a whole spa vibe downstairs underneath the main living area and there's also a bathroom behind me in there to shower and get ready for uh, or clean yourself after you've had an oil massage so downstairs spa with a sauna and a movie room and we've only been walking around <laughs> for a few minutes and uh, we're going to walk our way back upstairs and we'll go to the first of four bedrooms there is a fifth bedroom but it's more of a kid's room, but you'll see that in a second because uh, it's one of my favorite rooms we've seen in any property so far. Anyway, let's quickly look at the next room. Okay, I'll go out and show you those rooms in a minute because they've actually got a viewing right now. They're showing someone around, so I don't want to step on anyone's toes. So, this is why you've got to snap these places out quickly because they might be gone soon. So let's have a look at the uh, humongous living space. You come through the beautiful doors and actually, when you come through here, I don't know what this room is. What is this? This is like a closet. Oh, it's a downstairs toilet. Okay, all right, no problem. Anyway, lots of art, nice um, vases to keep your umbrellas, water cooler, you know, usual. You come through into the kitchen, huge black granite work surface. You've got gas and a barbecue hob. Ovens, microwaves, big fridge freezer, loads of storage. And again, a bit of a breakfast bar vibe. You've got six or five, is it, stalls. Nice high bench here. Real communal area where people can get their food and breakfast and just hang out and smell what's cooking. Next to the kitchen is the living room and uh, all of the furniture is brand new and really nice as well. I like the turquoise theme. I think the name of the building actually outside said it was like the turquoise, heist, the turquoise house or something. So maybe that's the theme. And uh, then they have this table here. This is Mei Hong, which is a Chinese board game. They said that pre-COVID, um, and actually the owner is a Chinese, and pre-COVID they used to rent this out quite a lot to Chinese families. And this is where the Chinese men of the house like to come and drink whiskey and gamble and stuff. So <laughs> I think they had that installed. It even has little cigarette hot, um, areas. That's very, very old school. I wonder how old this thing is. It's probably a really expensive antique. Anyway, lots of really nice artwork and then you come out to what I've been told is the most popular part of the house. The place where most people congregate is the sort of outside living room with all of these waterproof cushions. Big rectangular communal space with plugs so you can charge your phones and everything and just, you know, enjoy being outside without, you know, being in the sun because it's underneath this roof. There are um, blinds that pull down if it's too sunny or too rainy, if there's a storm blowing in. There's also speakers throughout this area so you can connect to Bluetooth and play your music and relax by the pool. Then you have some sun lounges and some umbrellas, a little kids area of the swimming pool, 
Looks, seem, seems to be quite shallow and nice. And then here, shallow end, and then it's like an infinity pool overlooking out into the north shores of Koh Samui. Obviously it's overcast and a bit cloudy today. If it was bright blue sky, I'm sure it would pop even more. And obviously the, the incredible slide that goes up to, believe it or not, one of the bedrooms. So I'll show you that in a minute. Next to the swimming pool is the master bedroom, which is strange because normally you think the master bedroom would be upstairs, but this property, the master bedroom is actually on level with the communal area. You have this outside, you know, concrete hangout outside area, and then you come through the humongous doors. You can see the bedroom with incredibly high quality cushions and duvets. And it's just a big, nice, beautiful room, nice carpets. Again, you've got that blue turquoise theme running through. TV on the wall, and then the bathroom has its own bathtub in the middle. So you come up, and they have a fan, which is like the smallest little fan I've ever seen, but it's super cute. Then they have this humongous shower head here. So you can have a nice rainfall shower. And of course, you come out, and if you want to have a beautiful bath with loads of space there's just so much space here have a look you know just loads of space around that bathtub toilet behind me a his and hers sink with mirrors and it really is <laughs> quite the incredible master and it's just surprising to have this room on the level I would have thought if they could have done it upstairs would just make it a little bit more exclusive a little bit more private but there you go we walk past the outside dining table for breakfast lunch dinner have an outdoor party. And typically this property is rented by families, uh, groups of graduates who want to rent somewhere for a week and get away from Bangkok and celebrate. Also groups of friends. Um, but for me, I think, yeah, you're looking at a, a big family. I think, that's the, I think that's the guy having a viewing. <laughs> okay, now we can go see the other bedroom, which they've uh, just cleaned here. See, there's a the power wash. This place is almost finished, almost finished on, on the market right now for 180,000 baht, but it will go up. <laughs> if you're watching this in a few months, it's probably already rented or potentially purchased. And then if it's not, check Beyond Property and see what you can get. Let's see how the price goes up when things start to go back to normal. Anyway, this is a really, really cool room. So just bear with me. So obviously you've got the bedroom here. Again, fantastic duvets and everything. Like quality, quality, quality furnishings. But you come through and again, you know, you've got the his and hers sink and um, the toilet and the shower. Not that interesting because when you come through, this is the kids room. This is considered the fifth bedroom because obviously you do have beds in here. You've got the Thomas the Tank Engine bed. You've got the princess um, bunk bed with slide. Uh, there's also a mattress underneath that you can pull and, you know, maybe have a nanny or just nanny when she's playing in here or whatever, kids playing together. Just more mattress, more places to play. Really cool bookshelf, lots of books and toys. And um, what's really cool, the detail that I love the most is they've put squishy flooring in here. So, you know, with the kids running around, banging around and falling over, they're not gonna hurt themselves too much, which is a really nice thing to add. Similar to Moonstone, this place does come with staff. So down there, is the staff quarters and um, so if you do move in here on a long-term rental plan you know six months or three months whatever you can negotiate with the owners the exact level of staffing that you need if it's just a weekly clean or a daily or whatever service you can organize that if you want them to be here full-time to cook and clean and buy your food shopping and help you with everything that your day-to-day cooking then they will as well obviously that's an extra cost um, and if you just want them to disappear completely and just you know whenever they need a call to come and clean they will move away um, and you'll have this place completely to yourself let's just finish with the, swim the, the bedrooms that are now available to look at okay this is the uh, final bedroom let me just quickly have a look in the shower area okay one sink one shower one toilet here and then down into the bedroom itself this is arguably by far the best view of the house lying in bed here out looking <laughs> you know incredible views of the beach i love the seats furniture the little coffee table with the lavender absolutely beautiful uninterrupted views of banrak mountain Bo Put area just 
the ocean is like 200 meters away down there overlooking your neighbor's pool and being super nosy. You see, I was surprised that this wasn't the master bedroom, but what they've done instead is create this outdoor area with put cushions and pillows. Again, this area is not finished. It's almost finished. While we're here, actually, look, this is the swimming pool slide entrance. So from this room, <laughs> you can enter, go down, and slide all the way into the pool. Because you know, sometimes using the stairs is way too much effort. You can just get your bikini or your swim, swimming costume on, slide down the slide, and get yourself a cup of tea or a cold beer or something. Anyway, the last room. I think this is actually my favorite room. Even though the master room downstairs was amazing, I don't like the location of it being next to the communal area. I much prefer this one. I also like the, the touches and flashes of yellow. Yeah, because even out here in the sort of outdoor seating area, they've got the cushions with the flashes of yellow. And again, with the mattresses outside, look, I'm just noticing you can see the solar panels here on the roof of these bedrooms and the kids' room there. That's obviously to help reduce the cost of your electricity bill and keeping it green, which is good. Anyway, love the yellow flashes. It really contrasts really nice with the turquoise. There's just so much room in here. You know, if I come all the way over here and you, I lift up the camera, you can see, you know, you've got the outside area here, then behind me the bed and the huge amount of floor space and into the closet area and the bathroom, which is just incredible. I think this is my favorite room. Personally, I would live in this room. You've got the his and her sink and mirror and then the throne, and um, you've got a shower here, which is beautiful, but if you want to shower outside, hot sunny day, romantic evening under the stars, you know, run a hot bath, uh, again, fully outside here, exposed outside in privacy with these high walls, and there's a really cool, almost looks like a iron shower head, and just, you know, outdoor shower, and as an option, because, you know, if you can come in, you can have an indoor shower, and uh, keep everything indoors. But if you want, you can go outside. And then you go through those doors and you can get back on the slide and slide down into the pool and into the communal area. So for me, this would be the master bedroom, but for some reason, I don't know why they haven't decided to brand this bedroom as the master. Anyway, 180,000 Thai baht per month currently listing um, online at Beyond Properties. Expect it to go up. And um, if you're watching this later in the year or early 2022, have a look, be nosy, go on Beyond Properties, see what this has gone up to, if it's available. Have a look at the other properties that they are currently renting. I was getting requests from you guys saying that, you know, you've been looking on Airbnb and everything seemed a little bit overpriced. I've also seen people saying that they've turned up to Airbnbs to sort of have a viewing and then they weren't the rooms that were advertised. So contact a real estate agency. I recommend Beyond Properties. And I just wanna say thank you for them for letting me have a look around. I am considering either getting back on the road going hitting back on the provinces if you don't know i'm traveling around thailand to every single province or because of covid i'm currently staying on samui and waiting out the worst of the current wave and I, you know i've been at lana the beautiful little condo that i'm staying at in ban rak for the last two months and you know i just feel you know like i need to move around a little bit and either get back on the road or move area and find a long-term solution or a short-term solution but uh, anyway regardless um i hope you've enjoyed the video and this has been food for thought for me and uh, hopefully for you. If you're coming to Koh Samui and you're looking for a long-term rental, check out Beyond Properties and uh, what else you can find on Facebook and online. But uh, anyway, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed these three beautiful luxury homes at three different budgets. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite and why. And uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.